So now that we, we, we define the emulation for general protocols, let's just do back, go back to the notion of, of realization. Let's try to actually model this, uh, 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 this uh, uh, specification, this ideal service that we had before, actually model it as a protocol, okay? Uh, so that we can actually use the, the, the previous definition of emulation in order to talk about realizing an, an ideal service. Again, uh, just for convenience. So, so what is this? So this is a special protocol that uh, uh, is a, it, it's, it's an ideal protocol for an ideal service F. So my ideal service is F. So what are these? The, uh, I didn't write here. These are dummy parties. Uh, uh, and uh, each one of them it corresponds to a different kind of AP interface of the, of the ideal service to a different uh, uh, PID, right? So there are different parties. And, uh, uh, and uh, each one of them is essentially a channel, right? So it uh, gets an input from some calling party, uh, and it just forwards it to F. And uh, when it gets up to F, it goes up. And, uh, and if you ask, why do I need them? It's, it's just for convenience, but I want to do composition. It, 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 and you write a protocol with access to an ideal, you have a, a larger protocol that has access to an ideal protocol like this, then it's easy to have those different ones that they are stops that later be replaced by, uh, by the actual protocol that implements it. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's nothing deep there. Um, and uh, uh, so anyway, so that's the ideal. Uh, 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 protocol, and then, but the one thing to notice is that this, uh, uh, the adversary, which is the simulator, uh, uh, talks only to the ideal functionality, it doesn't talk to these, and it's actually, it's, it's kind of important for, for a kind of software engineering point of view that, remember, these are very, this is a very important channel, because this, everybody says, you know, how much the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, this is this, uh, uh, the side effect channel, you know, how much information F leaks to the adversary, to the simulator, to allow, and how much influence does it allow the simulator to do on the specification. So we want all this to be going directly here. Okay, so, uh, uh, so, this, is, uh, uh, so this, th this is that. Um, and then we say that, uh, um, just uh, the natural definition that uh, a protocol UC realizes some ideal service if it uh, UC emulates this ideal protocol for the service, the way it's written here. So it's, again, nothing <coughs> deep, just to have a language. Okay? And now we can talk again about universal composition that we said before. And now we can actually talk about what it means in the actual framework, in the actual uh, 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 nitty gritty framework. Uh, and we said that before we talked about universal composition as we took big blobs of protocols and replaced the interfaces and stuff, we didn't talk about, think about the actual uh, in computing components and how it looks from the point of view of components. Uh, but uh, now that you define things this way, actually from the point of view of components, it's also not very complicated. It's a pretty syntactic, simple. In a sense, that's the only way to do it if you want to do it in, in any normal way. Uh, so, so again, we have those two ingredients, which is this protocol uh, uh, pi that emulates protocol phi, and we have this protocol rho that makes everything calls to phi, okay? And uh, the result of this operation is a protocol rho where uh, uh, phi goes to pi, where uh, now the replacement is done locally within machine instance, right? So I'm in some machine instance, and I'm looking, go, and actually go to the code of the machine, and I, I, I change the, the actual program of the machine. Uh, and whenever the program before said call to uh, 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 some instance of phi, I mean, go, I mean, I mean send this, uh, 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 you know, message to the input tape of, uh, of a machine which called phi and identity five, uh, and then I'm going to uh, replace this call by uh, a request to write to a machine with the code pi, not phi, and an entity five, same five, okay? So I just uh, do this syntactic replacement, uh, 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 kind of in the macro of all the code, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and that's it, okay? Um, and, um, 
And, and those, again, the values that are returned from, uh, uh, from, from this machine of pi, I treat them as if they came from, 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 uh, uh, from phi. Okay, so it's a very syntactic uh, uh, change of code uh, within each machine, which really looks like, like subroutine a substitution within each machine. And, uh, uh, and that's it. So that's the composition operation. Of course, the effect on the system as it executes can be large because I replace a, a machine and a subroutine, and instead now, now pi has a completely uh, 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 um, uh, different subroutine structure as phi, so the entire system underneath me can look different, but uh, uh, in some sense, I don't care, I don't see it necessarily. And then the composition theorem is exactly the same thing as before, so the protocol, uh, uh, now it's actually said it in a much simpler way. The only thing I want to say that this composed protocol, I took row and I replaced each pi, uh, each, each, each instance of phi, each instance of pi, this protocol still used to emulate the original protocol row without the replacement, okay? So, uh, so, that's, uh, uh, so this is what you have.